which for a blanket and we'll be turning it into a coat. I've been seeing these types of coats all over Pinterest and Instagram and once I saw this blanket at the thrift store, I knew I had to make one for myself. So for this project, you will need a skein of yarn, some pins, fabric scissors, and of course, a blanket that you want to turn into a coat. So for the design of this coat, instead of making a pattern like I usually do, I just copied one of the coats I already had in my closet. I really like the fit of this specific one. It's just the right um, type of oversize that I like. The sleeves are really nice. You can wear a thick sweater underneath. The only thing that I'm going to change is the neckline and, I, and I'm also going to uh, extend the length at the bottom as well. Another element that I wanted to add to this coat is the blanket stitch. So I decided I'm going to hand stitch the entire coat with the blanket stitch. So that is what the skein of yarn is for. So let's get started. So the first step for making this coat is cutting out the patterns. So I just laid out my coat on top of my blanket and then folded in the sleeves to make sure that the seams, the side hems and the shoulders and everything was prominent so that I could get a clear picture of what the shape would look like. So at this point when I'm cutting out the front panels, I am changing up the neckline. I'll put a picture up on the screen to make you understand what exactly I'm changing in the neckline. I would prefer it to be higher rather than a v-neck. You can of course go for a v-neck if that's what you like. And I also changed the length, so I did add a few inches at the bottom. shoulders with my sewing machine just so that the overall fit would not get lost while I'm sewing it by hand. Next for the sleeve pieces since it is a bit difficult to reference it from the existing coat I went ahead and laid the front and back pieces flat onto the fabric just so I can get the shoulder hem the shoulder edge of the pattern and then I measured from my shoulder all the way down to my desired length I added just a few inches so that I could roll the cuffs just like my reference coat. After I had cut out the coat, I went ahead and narrowed the cuffs of the sleeves just so that they're not so oversized and they're a bit more snug around the wrist.
Overall, I had so much fun making this project. I think I want to make a second one, but as a short version. So I'm excited to go back to the thrift store to find another vintage blanket for another project. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this project and if you'll be making one for yourself. If you want to see how I style this coat, go follow me on Instagram at Modern Prairie. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.